Damn. Dwayne the Rock Johnson and that's mother of the rock is cooking. <laughs> what is up? What is up? It is your boy Nick. Beautiful Nick on the ones and twos. I don't know why I just got into a Jamaican accent. But anyway, it's your boy Nick. Y'all heard it. I'm back again doing this reaction video. I I'm starting to get addicted to these videos, bro. Shout out to the richest. The richest. We gonna see how Dwayne The Rock Johnson spends a quarter billion dollars. A quarter billion dollars. A quarter billion dollars, bro. Like, seriously. Like, what? Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. A quarter million dollars? Really, The Rock? Really, Rock? As I say that, uh, that's my dog's name. If that's my dog's name. He'll he'll come to the door or something every time I say say rock. So this is gonna be kind of a difficult video. I didn't really want to do this video because you know it's the rock, and I'm have to refer him to, to as Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and I still can't say rock because I'm still saying rock, and he's probably he at my door probably right now as we speak. You said you did not care a single bit about what anything I had to say. I gotta go. You say, yeah, I gotta go. Okay. Hey. Okay. I can't. Okay. Can I still come? Okay. Wait, you're telling me I still gotta go? <sighs> Why don't y'all want me here? Anyway, how the how the rock how the rock spends a quarter billion dollars. I don't know how that's even possible. I even know how he's even making that much, but okay. I mean I guess that would make sense. I mean like he's an icon legend. Yeah, you know. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has an impressive net worth of $280 million. But how does the highest paid actor in Hollywood spend a quarter of a billion? He's the highest Maybe paid actor in Hollywood? Maybe wouldn't be all that surprised to learn that even though America's favorite beefcake may live a lavish lifestyle of expensive cars, fancy custom-made suits, yeah. and an impressive collection of wristwatches worth more than what some of us pay. Hold on. Okay, maybe this is all footage because it's rent for a fuzzy. year. That he's also a super nice guy who gives back to his family, his co workers, and the community. I hope you're good and warmed up because it's time to get this workout underway and find out how The Rock is spending his quarter of a billion dollars. Arguably the most famous hard body since Arnold Schwarzenegger, they don't call this guy The Rock for nothing. Just look at that chiseled physique. He first rose to fame as a shade-throwing professional wrestler with the WWE way back in the 90s before jumping off the ropes and into Hollywood with his debut film 2001's The Mummy Returns. That I ain't gonna lie to you, when I seen The Mummy Returns as a kid, the one scene that always gets me... I actually like that movie, but I can't never watch that movie because of that one scene where that girl gets like... Is it girl or a guy? He gets like trapped in the... Uh, in like the tomb or something and all them damn scorpions come in there and just start oh start climbing on buying this shit oh hell no not scorpions it was like beetles or some shit they start climbing on his shit and just start eating him alive i was like well no that shit is that shit still haunts me to this day i hate that scene so much bro i and i love gore too and i love horror shit but like that's not it's not even gore or horror that shit was just it just oh god it just it just gives you goosebumps, bro. It just, oh, 
Oh, just think of it. Oh, let's keep, let's continue. That was just the beginning of what has already become a long and storied career of one blockbuster hit after another. It was only a matter of time the before Rock The Rock's bank so. account was as big as his muscles. A recent report revealed that between June of 2017 and June of 2018, films like Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle oh, yeah, helped they definitely, Aaron Johnson they definitely were a staggering that, $124 million in Golly. just a year. He Damn. is quite likely the highest paid actor in history. But where does anybody even begin to spend that kind of cash? For guys like Johnson, that's easy. He looks no further than his own family. Damn. It's no secret that Dwayne Johnson is a big that's teddy a bear when it comes kid. to his family. The actor's heartfelt post to his Those daughter Simone on her 18th kids. birthday was enough to make anyone wish they could call him dad. As was this adorable photo of the jacked up giant having a tea party with his three-year-old. But his generosity doesn't stop there. Earlier this year, Johnson called his father, retired wrestler Rocky Johnson, to tell him he was going to buy him a house anywhere he wanted. He made the same gesture to his mother the previous Christmas, uploading her reaction on Twitter. When you can afford to buy people multi-million dollar homes, you can certainly afford to buy them custom-made pickup trucks. Is that his In brother? 2015, Johnson gifted a replica of his $60,000 custom-made Ford F-150 to his uncle, pro wrestler uh, uncle? Tonga Fafita. It was a gesture of thanks for his uncle's support during Johnson's early years as a pro wrestler. He must really love that Ford truck because in 2018 he gifted the same one to his stunt double, Tanawai Reed, who also happens to be his cousin. And speaking what? of cars, it's only fitting that I the, mean, that star of the sense, Fast and Furious franchise has damn. his own collection of the whole fast family and flashy on. vehicles. Why don't we take a look inside The Rock's garage? His F-150 isn't the only truck Johnson loves. He's got himself a bright blue Hennessy Velociraptor. Ooh. The performance vehicle boasts a 278 horsepower V8 engine and can go from 0 to 60 in just 4.1 seconds. That looks clean. And I you can lie. have one I off love yourself blue. for just a measly $150,000. No, of course, you. that's just pocket change for Dwayne Johnson. Check this out. At the premiere of his HBO show Ballers, Johnson pulled up in his shiny Pagani Huayra sports car. The Italian-made roadster cost him that's not even street legal. A jaw-dropping $1.3 million. Or how about this? Johnson's V12 6.5 liter engine Rolls-Royce Wraith. This classy 950-horsepower okay, beauty is a real bargain at just $332,500. Oh, but here is the kicker. Dwayne Johnson once bought himself a 950-horsepower Ferrari LaFerrari worth $1.5 million. The problem? Everybody on every ones that I've watched, every the one of them have a lot for And he eventually had to give it up. The Rock is one big dude, and there's no secret as to why. The man lives to work out. In fact, hidden within The Rock's $4.5 million Florida mansion is a full-sized custom home gym. That hey, set him Florida? back a whopping $300,000. At the Golly. center of the pricey home gym is a $2,000 Star Trek multifunctional trainer machine. He's also got a full set of Iron Grip brand dumbbells and bars, each costing several hundred. A $700 Kabuki Transformer squat bar. A full set of weight machines by Hammer Strength that average around three grand a piece. Pre-core fitness cardio machines that run as much as nine grand. And rogue bench press machines that also run a couple hundred a piece. And if that weren't enough, when his post-workout hunger strikes, Johnson doesn't have to go far. The home gym is just steps away from a full kitchen complete with personal straight. chefs. Working out isn't the only method Dwayne Johnson uses to look and feel his best. Bet you didn't know the hulked out movie star owns a collection of flashy designer wristwatches worth tens of thousands. Rolexes are his favorite and he grew up always wanting to own one. He, he had like first four in his early days Mills. as a high profile wrestler for $35,000. Unfortunately, being new to owning Fancy Bling, The Rock forgot to take the Rolex off in the wrestling ring and busted it just one week after buying it. No matter. One Rolex he owns now, a water sporting model called the Sea Dweller, retails at a cool $14,600. He also loves Italian-made Panerai Luminar watches. He has two that we know of. He wore a Panerai Luminar submersible in Fast and Furious 5. This a bad what? boy can safely go to underwater depths of a thousand meters and costs upwards of $12,000. His other is the submersible 1950 three days automatic What is Titanium, the purpose of buying a watch a 72 that hour power go, reserve what? and costs 9.2,000. On a side Bro, somebody explain to me what's what is the purpose of buying a watch that you that is that like what 
You think I'm gonna be looking? You think while I'm drowning, I'm gonna be looking at be looking at the time, and be like, "Oh, it's three o'clock. Oh shit, I'm still dying though." Like what the? Like what? What is the purpose of a watch? That, never mind. Let me note: Once while the Rock was on the set of the 2002 film The Scorpion King, he accidentally punched the late actor Michael Clark Duncan in the face. Uh, As an apology, Johnson bought Duncan a custom-made Rolex. It was an she incredibly punched me in the face. Gesture, I don't want a Rolex, but, but punch me in the he face. sometimes wishes he didn't make. In an interview on the incident, he said, quote, I did notice when the story got out that guys would lean in a little closer for a punch. Fancy timepieces deserve to go with fancy suits, and The Rock has got plenty. Check these out. Yeah, that's crazy how old The Rock is old as hell, but he still will whoop the fuck out your ass. That's crazy. And he still look, he looks good, bro. Before y'all even say anything, oh, that, oh, that's gay. Put a pause on him, on the pause. Like, bro, chill out, chill out, bro. There is nothing wrong with saying that a man looks good, bro. Especially the the Rock, bro. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. You don't call me gay, whatever. I don't care. Fuck it. At the 2016 Golden Globes, he wore a wine-colored velvet tuxedo. At the 2016 Oscars, he wore a deep blue suit with charcoal accents. Golly. In January of 2018, he was spotted in a crushed velvet suit at the Golden Globes. And he wore this smart caramel-colored double-breasted velvet suit over a turtleneck this nigga at the 2019 clean. Time 100 Gala. Considering that our boy is of such large stature, you know he must be shelling out a pretty penny to have these tailor-made. Johnson doesn't always spend his money on material things. Like any smart person of wealth, he also invests a great deal. Obviously. After collaborating for years, The Rock officially partnered up hey, with well, the fitness get a lot of money, company invest. Under Armour. He helped promote their connected invest. fitness platform, which spent big money acquiring fitness apps MyFitnessPal and MapMyFitness, earning the company over $36 million in revenue. He also helped develop his own line uh -huh. of products inspired by his lifestyle and fitness regimen. Including gear trash, like right? rock inspired yeah. backpacks and duffel bags. In June of 2018, but they his definitely handed out bags. Like sold out in just 30 minutes. That is simply amazing. Now, a lot of people with this much wealth it. might be prone to keeping it all for themselves. But not our boy Johnson. Dwayne Johnson supports over two dozen charities and causes, including the Red Cross, the Rush Philanthropic Arts Foundation, the I Have a Dream Foundation, the Kids Wish Network, and the Make a Wish Foundation. Back in 2006, Johnson spent big bucks to create the Dwayne Johnson Rock Foundation. Hey, the Rock is so this goddamn charity cool. This charity works with children with yeah, illnesses, Lee. disorders, and disabilities, helping to improve their self-esteem and empower their lives. It also helps with happy. physical fitness and nutrition programs for the children. The foundation works with kids aged up to 20 years old. Perhaps there's another super fit superstar in the yeah, world out there getting a head start thanks to The Rock. Time yeah, he will gonna, tell. He gonna grow up. Johnson also reinvests in his own career. Back in 2012, he founded also Seven reinvesting Bucks your own career. From their website, quote, Seven Bucks Productions is a multi-platform production company pioneering original content for television, Make sure you invest film, in emerging shit, technologies, invest and digital in networks. Your own first this production to company make even helped more produce money. Johnson's HBO invest, series Ballers, invest, as invest. well as several of his recent films, including Skyscraper, which raked in over $300 million at the box office, Golly. Rampage, which earned $420 million, and the 2017 Jumanji sequel Welcome to the Jungle. I have not seen any of these movies. One billion dollars at the box office. Damn! As for the name of the production company, well, there's actually a story behind that. Johnson says that back in 1995, after giving up on aspirations to be a pro football player and before landing his job as a wrestler with the WWE, he emptied out his pockets and all he had was seven bucks. The name yeah. serves as a reminder to his past and as a source of continuing motivation. That's a pretty cool story. And that is just some of what Dwayne The Rock Johnson spends his outrageous fortune on. If you suddenly had a quarter of a billion dollars, what's the first thing that you would spend it on? Let us know in the comments. Or how about this topic of discussion? Would you let The Rock punch you in the face in exchange for a free Rolex watch? Let's see the comments on that. Did you like this video? Give it a great big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to The Richest and also hit that notification bell. We're putting out new and exciting Okay.
What would I do with a quarter billion dollars? That is a tough question. That is a tough question. Honestly, I would not know. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I would not know what to do. I think, I think honestly, no, I, I think I know what I would do. The first thing that I'll probably spend it on, if I want to keep it 100 with you, my mind is saying invest. Because I'm telling y'all, investing, bro, if you invest, bro, you're, you're going to get money, not just for yourself, but later down on the road for your kids and your grandkids. Generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I would I would invest them. I think I would invest the money in something so that I can make more money. That's all I'm that's all I'm thinking of really. As far as something materialistic or something like that, eh, I don't know. Probably a I don't know. I probably would buy something from my mom, low key. Probably cuz I don't really I don't really I don't really I don't really I don't like I can't really think of anything that I really want right now. If I had a quarter million dollars, I'd probably give some of that to my mom or straight away already. Automatically. You know what I'm saying? As far as getting punched in the face by the rock for a Rolex, first of all, I don't even wear watches. Like I said in my Travis Scott uh video or my Drake video. Uh you know, I don't wear jewelry. I don't really care for jewelry. I don't never seen myself wearing jewelry even if i had the ability to afford it i i don't think i would ever wear jewelry uh this does not appeal to me you know what i'm saying i don't i don't really care for it so the fact that well actually no you know what depending on how much actually now that i think about it and like i really think about it if i really think about it if i let the rock punch me in my face A, I'm going to sue that nigga. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to sue him. I'm going to sue him. You got to sue. You got to sue to make your money. A Rock, if you A, if you somehow able to watch this, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. But I got to take, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to take advantage. I'm going to sue and I'm going to get the Rolex and I'm going to resell the Rolex and say that it was a, it's a Rolex gifted to me by The Rock. So that's that way the value of the, the Rolex will go up even higher and, um, and then at that point, shit, I'm looking like, how much did he say it was like 14, 15K? That's probably going to be like at least 30, 40K. I'm about to sell that shit. And then I'm going to get my money that I, that I sued him for. I'm going to sue him for a lot. I'm a, I'm talking about, we saw how much he got a, he got a quarter of a billion. I'm going to at least ask for a cool mill. At least a cool mill. The, the rock put serious damage on my face. I'm going to be like. I'm gonna be like, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I can't even see anymore. <laughs> the rock took my eye. You see this? My eye is swollen. My eye is swollen. My eye is swollen. He destroyed my retina. He destroyed everything. I can barely even talk. I got a new accent. <laughs> Bro, I'm going all out for it. Like, he hit, he punched me in the eye. I, I'm bringing a whole cast. I'm bringing a whole cast from my arm and my leg. Uh, <laughs> I'm, bringing, I'm bringing them the whole headband. The, 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 uh, y'all know the one that, uh, that Luffy had on when, uh, what, what, what was it? When he, uh, when he got hit by Kaido, I'm going to be like that, bro. Like, when he woke up and he had that whole head bench, I'm going to have my whole head wrap and just have have my one eye talking about. <laughs> bro, I'm going to sell the shit out of it. I'm going to cap my ass off, bro. I am going to cap my ass off, bro. Best believe I'm going to at least milk a lot of money out that month. I'm going to at least get a cool mill. Bro, if I, don't, if I don't at least get a million, bro, then I'm going to be like, bro, this is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Call me, call me, call me, a, call me stingy, whatever, bro. Bro, the rock has a quarter of bill. Bro, y'all seen the network, bro. He'll be okay. A million dollars is nothing to him. A million dollars is nothing to him, bro. 
like I said, I fuck with The Rock. I love The Rock. That's a handsome ass dude. But I got to I got to at least get a mill off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to hit me in the eye. I got to at least get a mill off. Of you. you think you think you think that a Rolex is going to help? You think a Rolex is going to help me? You punch me in the eye. I'm not going to be able to I I'm probably I'm probably be okay. But I'm a, I'm a cap like I'm not though. I'm going to be like, "Bro, he he shattered half of my head, my half of my brain. My my frontal lobe is my frontal lobe is encaved. I can't uh it's this uh it's protruding in my frontal lobe, which is making me in turn uh making me not able to think is you know destroying the right side of my brain you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you know i de destroy my motor skills you know what i'm saying like i'm going i'm going all scientifical in that bit i'm going all scientifical you know what i'm saying i'm gonna come up in a wheelchair talking about <laughs> my cast you did this to me <laughs> I'ma look dead at him like You did this to me. <laughs> oh, oh fuck, bro. But if you enjoy it, that was that's how the rocks spend a quarter billion dollars. Shout out to the riches. Uh if you enjoy it, leave a like comment and subscribe for some more click the notification bell down below where the, where the subscription is y'all see it it's a little bell click it click it so you're notified when i'm uploading a damn video click it i'm gonna wait i'm not gonna be like those other tuber, youtubers and be like i'm gonna wait and then cut and do it no i'ma wait i'ma literally sit here this is 22 minutes already i don't give a damn y'all already know i, I y'all already know how we get down over here it's gonna be a long video anyway so i'ma wait you're seeing why i'm looking at my wrist but i have no watch and i just said i don't believe in jewelry just just imagine it being at like the rolex that uh uh, the Wayne Rock Johnson gave me after he hit me in the fucking face. Hey, if you enjoyed it, bro, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do what I just said. Uh, I'm gone.